Hello and welcome back. Today we are checking out this huge collection of dinosaur figures and putting them on my display shelf right over here. I've got tons of empty space. So let's get started with these brand new ones right here. Let's first get started with the super colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's open this thing up. Here is the fully assembled brand new Jurassic World Dominion Tyrannosaurus Rex. And look at the size of this thing. Compared to the other super colossal dinosaurs that I have, this one is a darker brown color. It's got that black top with the stripes along the side right there. And just like my other super colossal figures, it's quite adjustable with the ankles, you can move the legs, you can wiggle the tail, you can move the arms. Oh, you know what? Right on its head. It kind of feels a little rubbery actually you can kind of press down on it compared to the rest of its body, which is a hard plastic. And of course, like all the other super colossal T-Rexes, this dinosaur has a throat compartment that goes all the way down to its stomach. So you can feed it mini dinosaurs and then empty them out. That is super cool. Next up, we've got the Baryonyx from the Hammond collection. Let's open it up. All right, here it is fully assembled. This is one of the most adjustable baryonyxes that I have. I have a few of the Velociraptors from the Hammond collection, and this one's pretty similar with how you can move it and adjust it. This baryonyx has a dark top with all those bumps all over. Then it's got the white stripe right along the side, and then a gray side and a white underbelly. And on the face, you can see that there's a little bit of blue on the under eye. I really like how adjustable this is though. This is really cool. All right, let's put these two dinosaurs on the shelves. All right, let's grab this T-Rex and bring him on over to the shelf. There we go, T-Rex is on display. <laughs> Next, let's grab the Baryonyx and put it right beside the T-Rex. All right, let's move on to all these other dinosaurs. Let's first start off with this huge Indominus Rex. This Indominus Rex has two features on it. It's got the button on the tail that activates the jaw. And it's got the button on top of its back that activates the slashing action. All right, let's put this on the shelf right over here. Next up, we've got another T-Rex. This one has similar coloring to the giant T-Rex that we've got over here. And this is also a brand new Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex. And this T-Rex has an action button on the tail. You can move the tail to control the neck, and there's a button as well to control the jaw. Let's go ahead and put this on the shelf. Right in the center. All right, moving along. We've got another T-Rex. This is from the old Jurassic World toy line. It's got a rubbery tail. The rest of the body is plastic, aside from the rubbery neck right here. Let's go ahead and put this on the shelf too. Where should we put it? Right next to this other T-Rex. Right over here, we've got a giant Spinosaurus. Look at the size of this dinosaur. It's got the red spine, the red face. There's a button that activates the jaw. All right, let's put this right next to the Indominus Rex. Next up, we've got another giant T-Rex. This one is brown with gray spotting all over the top. And it comes with some pretty cool sound effects as you can hear. Plus, there's an action button for the roaring. Let's put this down right next to the super colossal T-Rex. Right in the back here, we've got a classic Stegosaurus. This is from the Jurassic Park toy line. So this is a pretty old toy, and it's got that battle damage right there on the side. Mm. The tail is pretty rubbery so you can swing the tail back and forth. All right, let's find a place for this on the shelf. Let's have it go right next to these T-Rexes. And right over here, we've got another T-Rex. This one is a lighter brown color with dark brown on the top and a lighter underbelly. With this T-Rex, you can twist the tail to control the face and there's a button on the tail to control the roar too.
Up next, we've got a giant Mosasaurus. The whole body on this Mosasaurus is pretty rubbery. And as you can see, I can press inward on it, so it's hollow. And the jaw opens and closes too. All right, let's find a place for this. Let's have it go on this lower shelf right here. Right back here, we've got a smaller predator. This is the Rajasaurus, and this is a newer toy as well. And when you press down on the neck, it has the roaring action. Let's put this right up here on this higher shelf. I think we've still got another T-Rex in here. Yeah, here's another one. This is kind of almost gray colored with brown on the top and a light underbelly. And this T-Rex has a button near the head that you can press for the roar. All right, there we go, right next to the other T-Rex. Here we've got another Stegosaurus with different coloring. And this figure is a bit newer than the Jurassic Park one that we saw earlier. Plus, this Stegosaurus has some actions. When you press down here, it swings the tail back and forth. That is very cool. Let's put it on the top shelf, right next to the Rajasaurus. Next up is a Carcharodontosaurus. I think I actually have two of them. This is a blue version with orange and brown detailing on the top. And then I've actually got a yellow one with orange and brown detailing on the top too. Let's put both of these on the shelf. Here we've got an Allosaurus, I believe. This dinosaur is gray with yellow detailing all over its body. It has an action button right on the back to control the jaw. Next up, we've got a good old Ankylosaurus with a brown underbelly and a green and gray top. This Ankylosaurus also has an action button to sweep the tail. Put the Ankylosaurus right up there. Right over here, we've got a bright green Velociraptor. I believe this Velociraptor is also from the Hammond collection. As you can see, it is super adjustable all over its body. It is really cool. Let's put it on the same shelf as the Baryonyx over here. Next up, we've got the Yang Chuanosaurus. This is a newer dinosaur from the Jurassic World Dominion series, I believe. This dinosaur is mostly green around its body with the brown detailing on the top and the bright orange right on its face. Let's go ahead and find a place for this on the shelf. Right over here, we've got another huge predator. This is the Tarbosaurus. Look at those huge spikes on its back and that bright red under its chin too. This is a really cool looking predator. Let's put him on the higher shelf, right here. Nope, he barely fits in there. Right up top here, we've got a super bright dinosaur. This is the Nasutoceratops. This dinosaur has some green, blue, and orange all over its body. And look at the size of those horns too. That is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and put this right next to the Jurassic Park Stegosaurus. Here is another awesome predator and one of my favorite. This is a Carnotaurus with the red and dark purple. It looks kind of like purple on the top of its body. This dinosaur also has an action button on its back for the chomping. All right, let's find a place for this on the shelf. Let's put them next to these T-Rexes over here. Here we've got a noisy dinosaur. This, I believe, is a Cryolophosaurus, and it has some super awesome detailing on its back and on the top of its head. Check that out. Cool, let's find a place for this. Let's put them um, right next to the Carcharodontosaurus. Here we've got a super long dinosaur. This is a Sarcosagus. It's got a blue, gray underbelly, and then the purple orange and red on the top. This is really cool. Let's find a place for this right next to the Mosasaurus.
Here's another predator. I believe that this one is a Ceratosaurus. It's got that bright red coloring and that white horn right on the top of its nose. And the rest of its body is gray with a little bit of brown. Let's find a place for this on the shelf. Right next to the Tarbosaurus. All right, we got another Baryonyx in here. This one is not from the Hammond collection, so it's not quite as adjustable as the other Baryonyx that we opened up today. But it's still got an action button right on the top. Let's put this on the shelf right next to the Ceratosaurus. Here is a red, or it's like a clay red Triceratops with brown detailing on the top. This Triceratops has one action button right on the top that controls the head. Let's put this dinosaur right next to the Nasutoceratops. Right down here, we've got a small raptor. This one is tan with brown on the top, and this raptor has a slashing action. You can see it's spring-loaded in its torso so that you can actually slash with the claws. Let's put this right next to Ankylosaurus. Check this out. This is a baby Brachiosaurus, and it's pretty adjustable still. You can move the legs, the neck, and you can twist the tail too. So let's find a place for this on the shelf. Let's put this right next to the Triceratops. Here we've got another raptor. This one is a yellow color with battle damage on the side that you can open and close. That is really cool. Let's put this next to the other raptor. Right, another Baryonyx with different coloring again. This has some bright blue right on the top of its head and some darker blue along its body, a little bit of white, and then the rest of its body is a gray color. Plus, this Baryonyx has a slide action button so you can get multiple sound effects with each slide. That's very cool. Let's put it on the same shelf as this other Baryonyx. Here we've got a different looking Triceratops. This is a dark green with orange spots all over it. That's pretty interesting. This figure is also pretty adjustable. You can move the arms and you can move the head up and down too. Let's find a home for this on the shelf. Put it right here next to this Baryonyx. I believe this dinosaur is a Monolophosaurus. I think I actually have multiple of this one. Yeah, I think this is a Monolophosaurus as well. And look at the difference in coloring between the two. That is really cool, totally different. Let's find a home for these. Let's put them on this lower shelf right here. Still got a few dinosaurs left. This, I think, is another Ceratosaurus, but with totally different coloring. It's a dark green with gray detailing along the top. And this dinosaur also has the slide action button for multiple sound effects. Very cool. Let's put this right next to the T-Rex, right over here. Next up, we've got a small dinosaur. This is a Shringosaurus. It's got a super long neck and two huge horns on its head. That is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and find a place for this right here on the front shelf. Next up, we've got a dinosaur that looks kind of like a Stegosaurus, but it isn't. It's a Chialingosaurus. Check out those spikes right there on its shoulders. How cool is that? Let's put this dinosaur right next to this Triceratops up here. Right over here, we've got a dinosaur that looks kind of like a Triceratops, but I think it's actually a Cosmoceratops. Look at how different all those horns are on the front. That is really cool. It's got some green striping right along the top. Let's put this one on the front shelf too. Here's a big dinosaur. This is a Kentrosaurus. It's got those huge spikes right along the side. Even more big than the Chialingosaurus that we just saw. Let's put this right next to the Monolophosauruses right here on the bottom. Here we've got another Baryonyx. This one has bright orange on the top of its head 
and the rest of its body is a light brown with blue detailing on the top. That is cool. Let's put this one right next to this Ceratosaurus. I believe this dinosaur is a Parasaurolophus. Look at that huge horn right on its head. These are really cool looking dinosaurs, I think. Let's go ahead and put this right next to the Kentrosaurus. Next up, we've got a Herrerasaurus. Look at that super long mouth and all those teeth. That is really cool. Let's put this dinosaur right in front of the Carnotaurus. We've got a few more raptors in here. This raptor is bright red with, I think that's purple on its body. And this other raptor is more of a brown color with orange detailing on the top. That's really cool. Looks like we don't have any more space up there for raptors, so let's go ahead and put them right up here, up in front. Here is a purple Stegosaurus with yellow spots all over its body. That is pretty neat. And the legs and tail are adjustable on this dinosaur. Let's go ahead and put him right in front of this super colossal T-Rex. Just a few left. Here is a bright red Minmi dinosaur. Look at all those spikes and armor plating. That is really cool. Let's put this right next to the Cosmoceratops. And last but not least, we've got a green Sauropelta. It's dark green on the top, light green on the bottom with those huge spikes right on its side. Let's put this right in front of this T-Rex up here. dinosaurs channel today we are checking out this huge collection of dinosaur toys that I have on my shelves right here let's go ahead and start right over here with the Tapehara I believe that's how you pronounce it it's a little winged dinosaur look at that that is pretty cool but what I'm most excited to show you is this giant t-rex right here look at the size of that thing and it's custom colored too up next, we've got a little Chialingosaurus right here. It's a cute little guy, you know? Beside it, we've got this nice little Indominus Rex here. It's like a little baby Indominus Rex. And its mouth opens and closes too. And then right beside it, we've got Mama Indominus Rex. Wow, look at the size of that thing. And it's even got a stomach compartment so you can actually feed the dinosaur other smaller dinosaurs. And right beside it, we've got another gigantic T-Rex. Look at that. This is so cool. This is such a huge dinosaur. And right beside it, we've got a little dinosaur called the Shringosaurus. Check out those horns. It's a funny looking dinosaur, don't you think? Over here, we've got this cool rubbery Indominus Rex. It's got this rubber skin texture that makes it feel kind of like a real life skin, you know? And right beside it, we've got one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Carnotaurus. Look at how ferocious they look and those huge horns on top. Up next, we've got another massive T-Rex. Look at the size of that compared to the dinosaurs beside it. And this one's a cool gray color too. And look at those teeth. Those are some huge teeth. Moving on, we've got a little baby Triceratops right here. Look how cute he is. And he's got the battle damage on the side as well. And right beside it, we've got another vicious red dinosaur too. This is an awesome colored dinosaur. Check that out. And at the very end of the shelf here, we've got a cute little Gallimimus. Isn't that cute? Moving on to the next shelf, we've got this giant Quetzalcoatlus. Look at the size of this thing. Those wings are huge. 
Up next, we've got a mama Dilophosaurus and a baby Dilophosaurus still inside the egg. Moving on over here, we've got this awesomely covered Sarcosagus. Over here, we've got this yellow dinosaur with the red top and that huge horn, but I'm not sure what kind of dinosaur this is. Do you know? Why don't you let me know in the comments below? On our next shelf, we've got this awesome looking Triceratops. Look at the size of those horns and all those little horns along the edge too. Right beside it, we've got this cute little Ankylosaurus right here. And up next, we've got this massive Ceratosaurus. Let's see what kind of noises it makes. Wow, that is super amazing. Right next to it is a dinosaur called the Calovosaurus. This is a smaller dinosaur, but look at that coloring too. I really like that yellow and blue combination. Up next, we've got the Aranosaurus, and it's got a button right here. Let's see what happens. That is super cool. That is awesome. On to the next shelf over here. This is a Dracorex, the smaller dinosaur, but check out all those spikes on its head right there. And right next to it, we've got another big dinosaur, the Cryolophosaurus here. Look at that yellow coloring with the orange on top. That is super cool. Right beside it, We've got a giant Pteranodon. Look at the size of this thing. It has to be like a foot wide with the wings. And the final dinosaur on this level is the Suchomimus. <laughs> Moving down to the next shelf, we've got a huge Indominus Rex. Look at this. And he's even got space inside the mouth that you can fit dinosaurs in. Right beside it, I've got a little Herrerasaurus. This is a little guy, you know, but it's still a pretty cool collectible. And of course, one of the most popular dinosaurs, the T-Rex. And right beside it, we've got one of the largest ocean dinosaurs, the Mosasaurus. This is a super cool dinosaur. And I love having this one on my shelf. All right, let's move on. Oh, over here, check this out. This is a Scorpios Rex. Wow, that is super cool. Right beside him, we've got Owen from the Jurassic World movies. Say hi, Owen. <laughs> Up next, we've got this beautifully colored Narsudoceratops. And I think the horns on this guy is even bigger than a Triceratops. Look at that. And over here we've got this little T-Rex. It's green colored, but it has the battle damage on the side too. And right beside it, we've got the Carcharodontosaurus, and it has an action button. That is super awesome! And the last one on this shelf is a Dilophosaurus with that super bright coloring. <laughs> Up next, we've got another giant Indominus Rex. But check this one out. This is a hybrid Indominus Rex. Look at that coloring and the spikes and the gold on its claw. And it's got this button right here. That is so cool. Right beside it, I've got this little Gallimimus dinosaur. And right next to that, the Albertosaurus. And this dinosaur has battle damage as well. Check that out. Moving on, we've got a huge Stegosaurus right here with those massive spikes on its tail right there. And the last one on this level is the beautiful Concava Nodder. Look at that bright red on its back and that purple right on its face too. And it's got an action button. Let's see what happens. All right, moving down a level, here we go. All right, another giant Mosasaurus. Everyone watch out. And over here, we've got another small water dinosaur. This is called the Plesiosaurus. Right beside it, 
this awesome T-Rex. And look at this button on it. Look at what it does. Wow, look at that roar action. That is so cool. And in the middle shelf, we've got a Baryonyx right here. Oops, I knocked over this guy. This one is a Pachycephalosaurus. And another T-Rex. Look how giant these are compared to the other dinosaurs. That is so cool. And right next to the T-Rex, I've got this awesome colored Dimetrodon. Look at this. Look at the size of that spine on its back too. And over here, oh, do you see that? It's a Velociraptor. Look out, oh no. And over here, perched on its rock, is a Pteranodon, one of the coolest flying dinos. At least I think so. Okay, moving on to the next shelf. We've got this awesome looking Baryonyx. Look at that. And right beside it, a cute little Stiggy Moloch with battle damage on the side. <laughs> Over here, we've got a giant Stegosaurus. Look at the size of this thing compared to the Stiggy Moloch. That is huge. But wait, you haven't seen huge until you've seen the next one, which is the giant Spinosaurus. Wow. This dinosaur is so cool. And the final dinosaur on this level is the great Carnotaurus. Everybody watch out. All right, let's move down another level. This is the final level and it has some more giant dinosaurs like this giant Apatosaurus. Look at the size of this guy. Right beside it, I've got this awesome blue Velociraptor. Look at the coloring on him. And right beside it, we've got another giant Spinosaurus. <laughs> These are so cool. I love the coloring on their spines. But wait, there's even more. Look at this giant Velociraptor. This is huge. It's probably two or three feet long. And right below it, we've got Blue the Velociraptor as well. Moving on to the next shelf here, what do we have? We've got a giant Carnotaurus. Look at those horns. And it's even got some battle damage as well. Look at that. And with this dinosaur, you can actually feed it smaller dinosaurs. And it has a stomach compartment at the bottom too. That is super cool. And a baby Carnotaurus, look at that. Over beside it, we've got a family of Brachiosauruses here. Look, here's the first baby, and here's the second baby, and then we've got the Mama Brachiosaurus right here. This one is huge. But check out beside it on the next shelf, this is a giant T-Rex, and look at all the battle damage that it has on its neck and on its face too. Look at the size of those teeth right there. Some of them are broken because this is an old toy, but this is still a really cool looking T-Rex. And look at that. Right next to it, we've got a smaller T-Rex, ready to fight as well. And right beneath it is another dinosaur that I would not want to mess with in the wild because of the size of these spikes. This is the Sora Pelta. And last but certainly not least is this giant Velociraptor and this tiny little Dimorphodon on top. But check out this Velociraptor. Look at those teeth in its mouth. And just like the other giant dinosaurs I have, this Velociraptor has a stomach compartment. So you can actually feed it small dinosaurs and it goes all the way down to its stomach where you can take them out again. That is super cool. All right, that is all the dinosaurs that I am currently displaying on my dinosaur shelves. I hope you enjoyed checking out all these dinosaurs and I can't wait to see you next time when I show you even more. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, I'm gonna to give you a shelf tour of all my dinosaurs that are gonna show up in the Jurassic World Dominion movie. I'm super excited to show you all of these dinosaurs. And look at these, I've actually got some brand new ones that we're gonna unbox first. So let's go ahead and get started.
All right, first, let's unbox the Therizinosaurus. This is the sound slashing from the Jurassic World Dominion series. Let's open it up. All right, got it out of the box. Wow, this is a noisy dinosaur. Let's see what it can do. Look at these massive claws in the front. And you can open and close its mouth and adjust its head. Let's see the action moves. If you move the tail. Oh, all right, look at that slashing action. And also there's a button on the tail as well. Let's see what happens when you press that. All right, that is super cool. Wow, this is a super awesome dinosaur. Super ferocious. And with those massive claws, I definitely do not want to be messing with this dinosaur in the wild. Let's move on to our next brand new dinosaur. All right, next up, we've got the massive action Yang Chuanosaurus. This is so cool. Let's open it up. All right, so here is the mighty beast. It's mostly green with a little bit of brown on the top. Look at that on the top of its head. That is so cool. That is so detailed. It's got those massive teeth as well. Let's check out the actions that this has got. Ready? There's a button on its tail. Let's try that one first. All right. That controls its mouth so you can chomp with it. And with the tail, you can actually wiggle it back and forth and it'll move his head as well. So you can chomp and move its neck at the same time. That is so cool. Watch out, here comes the Yang Chuanosaurus. All right, another brand new Jurassic World Dominion toy. This is the Quetzalcoatlus. This is a winged dinosaur. Awesome, let's open it up. All right, here we go. This is a massive winged dinosaur. Let's open up its wings, you ready? Extended and extended. Wow, look at that. That's probably like a foot across. That is huge. And let's check out this button here. If you press it, what happens? All right, it flaps its wings. That is so cool. And there's actually a button on the bottom as well. Look at that. Let's see what happens when you press that. Oh, its mouth opens and closes. And look at the size of this head too. That is a huge beak and a very colorful beak too. All right, now let's check out all these other dinosaurs that I have on my shelf. Let's start way up here up top. Here is a gigantic Velociraptor. Look at the size of those claws. Those claws are bigger than my fingers. Look at that, that is huge. And with this toy, you can open and close its mouth. Look at that. That is so ferocious. Right next to it, we've got a, uh, well, what is this? I think this is a Brachiosaurus. Oh. That is so cool. Look at the detail to it. That is very neat. Up next, we've got a baby Indominus Rex. Look at this. It's kind of cute. And it's got a ginormous head. You can open its mouth to reveal its tongue. Oh even got a roaring action as well. That is so cool. Look at this. This is a model Spinosaurus. Uh-oh, I think it's missing an arm actually. But look at its mouth. You can open and close its mouth. And check out that spine too. This is a huge dinosaur. But this toy is even bigger. This is the Scorpios Rex. And these toys have a few actions. One of the buttons controls its mouth, and the other controls the claws. That is super cool. Up next on the top shelf, look at this gigantic Carnotaurus. This is one of my favorite giant dinosaurs that I have. And look, it's even got some battle damage right there on its face. And just like the other giant dinosaurs that I have, you can actually fit miniature dinosaurs down its throat, and it actually has a stomach compartment as well. That is so cool. These are one of my favorite dinosaurs for sure. I just love the way they look. Right over here, 
we've got a mighty Stegosaurus with those huge spikes on its tail. That is so cool, and I love the coloring as well. But watch out, right next to it, a giant Indominus Rex. Watch out, look at the size of those teeth. Those are huge. And I love the eyes on these as well. These look super sinister. I love these giant dinosaurs. And right beside it, we've got some smaller dinosaurs too. We've got a baby Triceratops right here. We've got Velociraptor Blue. Everyone knows this one. We've got a model Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at the muscles on the dinosaur. That is massive. And this one has an adjustable mouth as well. Look at all those tiny little teeth. And the last one on the top shelf, a baby Carnotaurus. This dinosaur has two actions. The first is a button up top. You can press and it blinks its eyes. That's kind of cool. And the second action is a button on the bottom of its tail. When you press that, it lunges forward and bites. Watch out for this dinosaur. All right, moving on down to our second shelf. We've got a mama Dilophosaurus and a baby Dilophosaurus right beside each other. And they're both super brightly colored. That means you better stay away from these. Over here, we've got a T-Rex with battle damage. Look at that on its side. And the tail also can control the mouth and the head as well. Right beside the T-Rex, we've got this awesomely colored Pachycephalosaurus. And look at that action when you pull the tail. The head goes up and down to headbutt the other dinosaurs. Watch out. Over here, we've got a little baby Brachiosaurus. This is a cute little dinosaur and still quite adjustable. It can move all its legs and its neck and its mouth as well. And moving on from this baby Brachiosaurus, we've got a baby Triceratops. We've got a green Velociraptor. Look at it, it's kind of sneaking along. It's in that sneaking pose. Better watch out for this Velociraptor. And we've got this Gallimimus right here too. Look at this. It's a little dinosaur. It's very cool. All right, moving on. Over here, we've got a Parasaurolophus. Look at the coloring on this dino. Super bright and even a little shiny. Look at that. That's super cool. Oh, and it's got some sound effects too. That is super neat. Right on over here, we've got a giant Velociraptor. This one is super cool coloring. I love, it's like teal coloring and it's super speckled all over its body. That is so cool. I love it. Right beside it, a smaller dinosaur. This is the Calavasaurus. And look at this, it's standing on four legs. The neck is adjustable, the legs are, and it's got those orange specks on its back. Right beside it, we've got another giant Velociraptor. I think this is Velociraptor Blue. And standing right beside her is Owen. Come on! Right beside them, we've got another mighty dinosaur, the Ceratosaurus. This one has action buttons on it. Let's see what it does. That's cool, it's a sliding button, so you can actually move it to multiple positions for different roars and uh, a different opening of the mouth. That is awesome. And right beside it, we've got a super different looking dinosaur. This is the Oranosaurus. Whoops, there goes the Ceratosaurus, that's okay though. This Oranosaurus also has an action button. Let's see what it does. Super cool. It moves its neck up and down with sound effects. That is awesome. I love the coloring on this. All right, let's keep going. Over here, we've got a model Tyrannosaurus Rex and look at that roar pose that it's in. That is so cool. And right beside it, we've got another Parasaurolophus. This one is yellow as well. And I think it has an action button too. Yep, right up at the top. 
moves its neck and then I think it has a second one for its tail too. Super cool. Right beside it is a big old Brachiosaurus. This one is red and it's uh, made a little bit more from like a rubber substance. In real life, these dinosaurs are ginormous. Right next to it, uh oh, look out, another Velociraptor. This one is a bright green with stripes all over it. And it's got some type of device on its head, probably for tracking it. And on the rest of this level, we've got another Brachiosaurus. This one's striped green and red. We've got a bright blue Velociraptor another baby Brachiosaurus, and one of my favorite Velociraptors. Look at this one. This has gold on its head and on its back. That is so cool. All right, moving down to level, here we go. Here is a bright green Velociraptor. This one has a button on its side. I think it's out of batteries now, but it also has a tail action. When you pull the tail, its mouth opens and closes. Right beside it, here's a good old Ankylosaurus. Look at all that armor it has. That is so cool. And it's got an action button. This is one of those sliding buttons. So when you slide it up, you can go back and forth. Oh, it's hitting my hand. Over here, we've got a giant Triceratops with an action button. And it roars as well. That is so cool. Look at those giant horns. But watch out, right beside it, we've got a T-Rex with battle damage. Look, that's where the battle damage is going to come out. You ready? Here we go. Bam! There's the battle damage. And you can pose this T-Rex's mouth too. So if you want to keep it open, when you have it on the shelf, there you go. It's ready to go, that is so cool. Right beside it, we've got another awesome Carnotaurus. This is a super bright dinosaur. I love the coloring along its body. And this dinosaur has an action button too. Look at the tail, you can spin it and it moves its head. And when you press the button, it chomps its mouth. That is so cool. Oh, and here is a mighty dinosaur of the sea. This is a Mosasaurus. These things are ginormous and they can eat huge dinosaurs. You can move the fins, you can move the jaw and look at the attention to detail all along its body. That is so cool. All right, moving on. We've already unboxed these three dinosaurs and moving on over here. This is the Edmontosaurus. Look at that beautiful yellow crest on its head. And this dinosaur has an action as well. Like many of the other dinosaurs, you move the tail, you can move its head. That is super cool. I love how you can control these dinosaurs. Right next to it, we've got another giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look out, everyone! And right beside it, not quite as big, but still ferocious looking. This is the Albertosaurus. I really like this dinosaur because this looks different than a lot of the other dinosaurs and it comes with really cool battle damage. You can close it all the way and then you can even move its rib cage up and down. That is so cool. Right beside it, another giant T-Rex. This is so cool. Look at the size of that face and jaw. That is so awesome. And this right here is a Baryonyx with some super cool coloring. Look at that orange right on its nose right there. And this dinosaur also has an action button to control its jaw. <laughs> and the last on this level of the shelf, another great and mighty Scorpios Rex. <laughs> It's got the jaw button and it's got the slashing action too. And of course, the poisonous quills on its tail. You better watch out for those. All right, let's move down another level. Here we go. Right at the edge, we've got another little Velociraptor Blue. 
Over here, we've got a model Spinosaurus. Look how mean this one looks. This one looks super angry. Look at those teeth. Look at those eyes too. Wow, that is a super scary looking dinosaur. And right next to it, we've got the glorious Endoraptor, the super smart, super intelligent, and super dangerous dinosaurs. These are super cool. And here are two more Tyrannosaurus Rexes. And look, they look quite a bit different. This one actually has a rubber tail, which I've always found very interesting. It's a unique addition to this toy. But these are really cool. I always love adding more T-Rexes to my collection. All right, let's move on. What else do we have here? Oh, here is another giant Triceratops. This one is green and it's got the stabbing action with its horns and another button to control its tail too. How cool is that? But what is this giant one right beside it? Let's see. Oh, this is another giant Brachiosaurus. Look at the size of that neck. That is so huge. Right next to it, another massive looking T-Rex. That is so awesome. And this T-Rex has a button on its back for the chomping. That is so cool. And right beside it, we've got a giant Velociraptor. This is actually an RC Velociraptor. You can see it's got some wheels and it moves its arms. But look at that face, that is so cool. You see all those teeth? And look at those eyes too. That dinosaur is looking for something to eat right now. Oh, check this one out. This is a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but look how bright it is. That is so cool. It's almost like it's on fire. That is so awesome. I love the custom coloring on this T-Rex. And right beside the T-Rex, we've got this winged dinosaur. I think it might be a Pteranodon. I can't remember actually. Let me know in the comments if you know what type of flying dinosaur this is. But I love that gold on its face. Look at that. That is super cool. All right, let's move on. Over here, we've got another giant Indominus Rex. And this one is super adjustable. You can move its arms and its legs and its neck and it has a few action buttons as well. The first is the claw slashing action. Look at that. And then the second, press down on the tail and he gives a mighty roar. That is so awesome. This is a huge Indominus Rex figure. And here we go, another giant T-Rex. This is so cool. This one is an orange T-Rex too. And look at all that different coloring. It's like darker on the top and then it gets to a brighter orange here and then its belly is even brighter too. Super neat. And our last few dinosaurs on this level, we've got a Stegosaurus right here. We've got another model Spinosaurus. Look at those eyes. It's looking for food to eat right now. And finally, another awesome Ankylosaurus with all that armor and then the action button to swing its tail. That is so awesome. And moving down to our final level, these are more giant dinosaur figures. I believe this is the Apatosaurus. And look, you can even open and close its mouth too. This is a huge dinosaur. But the one I like even more than this, custom colored giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. Just like that smaller one we saw, this one looks kind of like it's on fire, really. And it's just so huge, you can open and close its mouth. And you can actually fit miniature dinosaurs down its throat to its stomach compartment down here. That is so awesome. And we've got even more larger figures. Here is a giant T-Rex that is orange. And beside it, we've got Velociraptor Blue, giant form. And just like the others, can fit some mini dinos all the way down its throat into its stomach, which is super cool. And look at those claws again. 
those are huge. And right beside it, we've got another uniquely colored Tyrannosaurus <coughs> Rex. Look at this one. This is like a bright blue, kind of like a grayish white color. This is so cool and so different from the other figures that I have. And just like my other giant figures, this dinosaur has a throat that you can feed miniature dinosaurs and it goes all the way down its throat into the stomach compartment where you can get them out. It is so cool. All right, here are the final huge dinosaurs. I've got two matching Brachiosauruses. These things are both, I don't know, probably like two or three feet high and they're super detailed. Look at that skin. Look at their eyes and their teeth and even inside their mouth. And last but certainly not least, the great Tyrannosaurus Rex with battle damage. Look at this. I love this one because of all the battle damage that it has and just like all the detail. This one's mostly green, so I think that this one would blend into the jungle more. And it is just so cool and so massive. I love this one.
Oh, my God. 
Hello and welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaur Channel. I'm super excited for you to be here today. Today we are unboxing a bunch of T-Rexes, Indominus Rexes, Velociraptors, Endoraptors, and a whole lot more. So I'm super excited to jump into this. We even got some uh, brand new T-Rexes that I just bought that we're going to check out as well. So I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and dive in.
Dinosaurs channel everyone today we are unboxing a bunch of Jurassic World toys let's go ahead and start with this brand new stegosaurus right here let's check it out all right so this stegosaurus here is mostly green and brown so you know it's gonna camouflage well into the jungle so if you look there is a button right here press this down and check out its tail right there that is a massive defense move right there. It can swing its spikes on its tail and hit whatever predator's trying to attack it. And look at that, it came with, looks like it's a cage that wraps around some part of the dinosaur. I bet it's for the tail actually, let's put this on. All right, so we've got it on there most of the way. It's a little tricky to have it stay on. But let's go ahead and try out the action move now. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, go! All right, check it out. The Stegosaurus is free. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, here we go. One of the coolest dinosaurs ever, the T-Rex. Check it out. So it's got a button in the back that you can control the mouth with and the neck moves as well. This is pretty cool. This is for sure my favorite dinosaurs. And right here, we've got an Indominus Rex. So let's check it out. If you move the arms right here, let's see what that does. Interesting, so the arms control the mouth when it opens and closes. Interestingly, the top of the Indominus Rex right here, if you look really closely, you can see that it's like a rubber instead of a plastic like its body right here. The whole top is made out of rubber. So it kind of actually looks like skin a little bit more. And look at those giant teeth too. This is a really cool dinosaur. Let's go ahead and open up another brand new Jurassic World dinosaur. Let's look. This is the Carnotaurus Toro figure from the Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape series. All right, here we go. Look, it's like a little miniature Carnotaurus. It looks kind of like a baby. It's kind of cute, really. So let's see what kind of actions that this toy has. Let's see, first there's a button up top here. Let's go ahead and press that and see what it does. Aw, so it closes its eyes and it has a little dinosaur sound effect. That's cool. And then the tail as well, you can see when you move the tail, the head moves too. And there's a button on the bottom too. Let's try that out. Wow, that's so cool. This will look so cool with my other dinosaurs. Here is another T-Rex, but this one's a little different from the last T-Rex that we had because this one has a button up top. When you press it, the neck will spin. Look at that. That is a massive bite. And there's a second button on this one too. When you press the second button, the tail goes back and forth too. Wow, that's so cool. Which dinosaur is your favorite? Do you like the T-Rex? Or do you like the Indominus Rex more? Let me know in the comments below. Which dinosaur is your favorite? And once again, look at these giant teeth in its mouth. And the neck can move too. The arms move, the legs move. This Indominus Rex is gigantic. That is so cool. 
So look at this one. This one is a small Indominus Rex, just like that miniature Carnotaurus that we saw just a minute ago. Let's open it up. All right, so look at this one right here. And this isn't like a normal sized Indominus Rex. This is like a, it's kind of like a display dinosaur almost. Look at that. The tail moves, the head moves. Let's see what actions that this toy has. So there's a button right on its nose. Let's press that and see what happens. Oh, so it's sound effects. That's cool. Let's press it again. Plus, this is a feeding frenzy dinosaur. So you see it comes with this piece of meat. Let's see what happens when we feed this Indominus Rex this piece of meat. So we've got the piece of meat here. We've got the Indominus Rex. Let's go ahead and feed this dinosaur. Here we go. Ready? Jump, 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 jump. Oh. Whoops. This sure is one hungry Indominus Rex. This is super cool. I'm gonna put this right next to my miniature Carnotaurus. All right, here we go. Another unopened Jurassic World dinosaur. This one is the Shringosaurus. Let's open it up. All right, here we go. This is the Shringosaurus, and this is a quite a bit different looking. I mean, look at the size of that neck, and it kind of looks, I mean, really, it almost looks like a dog, don't you think? Or like a not dinosaur type of animal. These were herbivores and they grew 10 to 13 feet long. So these things got actually pretty big. And check out those horns on the front too. All right, another Stegosaurus. This one is not green and brown like the last one that we unboxed. This one is actually, it's kind of like a gray color, but I think it has the same action button as the other Stegosaurus that we unboxed too. Let's see if we can find that button. All right, here it is. So you press down this and the tail flips back and forth. Let's see what this could do to another dinosaur. Look at that swinging action right there. And here comes another dinosaur. Wham! Oh, that was such a big hit. Don't mess with the Stegosaurus. Here is another one of the super popular dinosaurs from Jurassic World. This is the Velociraptor. And this one is very adjustable. Look at this, the tail moves and the legs. They have multiple joints on them so you can spin them around in all directions. And its mouth opens and closes too. That is so cool. This is a super poseable dinosaur. Here we have a Jurassic World Dilophosaurus. Check out the, I don't know if those are called wings or fins on the front. I bet those are used to intimidate other dinosaurs. Look at that. When those come out, you'll want to stay away from this dinosaur. One of the stars of the Jurassic World movies, the Endoraptor. These dinosaurs are super fierce, super sneaky, you do not want to get trapped in a building with this dinosaur. Here is another Velociraptor. Check this one out. So the tail goes up and down and you can slash with those claws right there. And it has a button on the side too. All right, another Indominus Rex. But this is like another miniature Indominus Rex. And, oh, do you see that? This one has a battle damage feature. So you can slide it open and closed. So when you're playing with it, it is fully healed right now. And then while you're playing with it, you can hit it, bam. And suddenly it's a wounded dinosaur. Here we go, another Dilophosaurus. I think we've got a few in here. So here is a gray one, and it's got a little bit of yellow on the top. Over here, wow, look at the color on this one. You could see this from a mile away. Look at the orange and the yellow. This thing is fierce. And we've got lots more Velociraptors in here. Look at this green one. And we've got good old blue right here.
we've got this green Velociraptor here. This is another super adjustable Velociraptor. And look at those green stripes on its back too. That is super cool. And check out these claws on its feet. You can actually adjust them up and down. So Velociraptors can control when they're hidden and when they're ready to attack. Oh, look at this. We've got a special star for this video. It's John Hammond from the Jurassic Park movies. Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you like my dinosaurs. <laughs> Check out this super bright Carnotaurus. Look at those golden horns on its head, the golden spikes on its back, and that bright red color all over its body. Let's see what this action button does. All right. This is a chomping Carnotaurus. Let's see how many more Velociraptors we have in here. How many do you think we have? Let's go ahead and count them. Here we go. Here's one Velociraptor. It's brown colored. This is the second Velociraptor. This one is yellow with green stripes on the back. Here is our third Velociraptor. This has an action on it too. Look at that. Pull the tail. The head moves up and down. Here is Velociraptor number four. This one is green with red stripes. Wow, look at that. I think that you'd be able to see that in the jungle too. So this one may not camouflage that well, which is really interesting. Here is Velociraptor number five. This one is a little bit smaller from the other Velociraptors that we've seen in this video. If you look at this Velociraptor's feet, they're actually spring-loaded, so you can make this Velociraptor jump. Here's Velociraptor number six. I really like the coloring on this one. Look at those orange arms, and then it's got the yellow side and the brown on the top. That is super cool. And just like the last Velociraptor, this has spring-loaded legs too, so you can make this one jump up into the air. Check this out. This is a Stegosaurus, I think. When you pull on the tail, look at how its head moves. It like lunges forwards. Here is another interesting looking Stegosaurus. You can see we've got some battle damage on the side. And just like the last one, when you pull the tail, its neck moves. Oops, you know what? I missed one more Velociraptor earlier. Look at this one. This is a tan Velociraptor with green stripes on the top. Very cool and very ferocious. Check out all these super brightly colored dinosaurs that we have in our Jurassic World collection too. We've got this little green guy. We've got this red dinosaur. I think this is a Spinosaurus. Here is a purple dinosaur. What kind of dinosaur do you think this is? Let me know in the comments below. Here is a smaller blue dinosaur with that red fin on the top. Very cool. Here is another brightly colored dinosaur. This looks like a Spinosaurus too. Look at that huge yellow and orange spine on the top. Here is a Spinosaurus. And check out the action on this toy. When you wiggle it up and down, the head moves. That's super cool. Wow, look at the coloring on this one. This one is mostly blue, but the spine on the top is a bright red color with black stripes. This looks like a Spinosaurus too. Wow, look at this one. This one is also super brightly colored too. It's got that bright yellow color and then the bright red on top. Look at this one. This is a Pachycephalosaurus. And what's unique about this dinosaur is that hard shell that it has right on the tip of its head. It's almost like a helmet, really. Only a few dinosaurs left. Look at this. It looks like a little baby dinosaur. It looks kind of like a Stegosaurus 
but I'm not sure. Do you know what type of dinosaur this is? Here is a cute little stegosaurus. Look at that, isn't that cute? And if you wiggle the tail, Aw, oh, this is so cute. And look at that. The head moves up and down and the tail as well. That is super cute. Here are our final two dinosaurs. We've got a miniature Indominus Rex right here. Very neat. And a little tiny, what is that, a T-Rex? What do you think that looks like? That is a massive jaw. Look at the size of those teeth. It's got a huge head and a little body. Thanks for joining me today and checking out all these awesome Jurassic World toys. I'll see you next time. Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.